Hello, how are you? I'm Sturgeon. I'm in Beijing. I've got a little basket with me. I'll tell you why later. Today, I'm going to find out what is in a chestnut banquet. I've never had a chestnut banquet before, and today I'm going to try one. But in order to do that, I've had to come to the countryside. So this is Beijing's Huairou District, and specifically, I'm in a place called Liu Dong Hezun or Liu Dong He Village. It is autumn as I film this. You can see the, the colours around me. My favourite season. Not too hot, not too cold, and the scenery is incredible. So before I get stuck into a chestnut banquet, let's go take a look around. It's really beautiful around here. Beautiful leaves. The colour of the leaves changing, and they're all on the floor. I can kick them, and I can feel young. Right now, Liu Dong Hezun is actually close. To the Great War, and it's known as Jingjiao Banli Di Sun. So that's Beijing's first chestnut village, or the first chestnut village of Beijing, and it's within something known as、um, Li Hua Xi Gu. So that's the Chestnut Valley.、Mm, sounds magical, and you've guessed it. The Chestnut Valley is full of chestnuts, and that's why I brought my basket. I take it everywhere with me. Right, so I'm going to go up the valley, into the valley, and、uh, and look for some chestnuts. Right, so let's go. So I've heard it's very, very, ooh, very, very simple, very easy to find chestnuts. They're everywhere. In fact, looks like I've found one already. No, no, it's already been picked. But there's, there's one. No. So there's none here. There's none here. So higher ground. There must be some. In high ground, I saw people selling them down there. Unless they picked them all. Oh yo! Oh yo! Oh yo! Right. Okay. Got a good feeling about this. In a bit, this is going to be full. Almost died then. Look at that! Already now they're all empty. They're all empty. Oh. oh no! Is that one? Is that one? Ow! Ow! No! No! Oh God! Yes! Yep! Yes! <laughs> I told you this is going to be full. It's going to be full. You know how much I. I don't think higher ground was a good idea. I'll go down. You slowly make your way down.、And、by the time I'm, you're at the bottom. I'll, this will be full. I'll, I'll have found loads. Another one. That's two. That's three. Brilliant. Oh wow! Right, so I、uh, haven't filled my basket yet, but come back down, and、uh, right next to Huai Sha He, the Huai Sha River runs through Liu Dong He Sun. Beautiful, clean river. Water super clear. There's lots of fish and shrimp in the river. That in turn attracts lots of birds. I've seen some wild ducks already. If we're really lucky today, we might see a bai lu or an egret. But first, still need to fill up. Basket. Right, I've got an idea. Okay. Hey, where, where have you been? I've been waiting for you. It doesn't matter. I'll forgive you. Well, I was waiting for you. Filled up this. Put two of them there. There are many leaves that don't have a leaf. Uh, 没错，是我我整理的时候，他们他们已经是这样，壳已经。没了啊！不可能，我刚才还看到你去长草栗子店去买栗子。哪哪儿？哪个店？长草栗子店啊！从来没听过，不知道。这儿的栗子很很有名的。对，怀柔的栗子是很有名的。公司来捡栗子，但是捡不到。德威尼捡好了。那给这儿买一点吧。啊，我买一点。<笑>啊啊啊 ！Oh no！ 
So after filling up my basket with chestnuts that I picked, I've come to what's known as the Hua Si Gu Feng Jing Dao. So that's the Chestnut Valley Scenic Trail. Number of picturesque villages along the trail, including Liu Du Hezun, and the trail has become a popular spot for tourists visiting one of the many Min Su or guest houses in those beautiful villages. And you can see why people would visit. It is beautiful. The light has faded now, kind of, but it's still, still really beautiful. And the trail, the road, and the, uh, the public spaces along the trail have been built to allow tourists and locals to appreciate the beautiful scenery here in the valley, and also to help develop rural tourism in Bohai Zhen, Bohai Town, which is where we are right now. The sun's going down. That tells me that it's almost time for dinner. So I'm going to head to one of the guest houses in Liu Du Hezun and try my very first chestnut banquet. Lovely. And the colour of these leaves. Incredible. Right now, beyond the trees, you can see some buildings and they are Min Su. Guest houses, lots and lots of guest houses here in Liu Du Hezun. So I'm going to go to one now. I'm going to have my first ever chestnut banquet. Right, let's go. It's very expensive. It's the best chestnut in Guayaro. No? You? So I'm going to have my very first Ban Li Yen, so that's the chestnut banquet. It's not a huge banquet, it's quite a bit, lot of food. Don't worry, I'm going to share some with my crew, if there's any left at the end. Probably won't be. Uh, anyway, right, what we got? Hong Shao Rou, so that's braised pork. Shem Rang Na Hong Shao Rou Na Ban Li Hong Shao Rou, yeah. And we've got Dun Ji, so that's stewed chicken. Shem Rang Na Dun Ji Na Ban Li Dun Ji, yeah. I'm going to stop doing that, it's not, it's not fun, is it? Um, what else? We've got um, Li Zi Fan, so that's chestnut rice. Li Zi Zhou, chestnut porridge, and Li Shu Mo Gu. So that's the, uh, the mushrooms that grow underneath chestnut trees. And of course, the thing that started it all, the chestnut. These that I bought myself, picked picked myself. Right, anyway, let's get stuck in. So this is one of my favourite dishes, Hong Jia Rou. I haven't tried it with the chestnuts before. Oh, maybe I have. But anyway, I think I should try a chestnut first. They're kind of a bit mealy in my mouth. Mealy, I'm sure. You're near me. I don't know if it's better because it's cooked with chestnuts, but it might be just because I'm so hungry after going along that trail. Really worked up an appetite. Okay, let's get some uh, leads of fat. Yes. Pumpkin, lovely. It's a bit sweeter than rice that you'd usually eat meat with, I think. It's a little bit more like a dessert. It tastes a bit more like a dessert, like, um, look at this. Dun zi. Oh, this took about half an hour to, um, to stew, so this should be lovely. The meat doesn't really have any of the chestnut flavor. I think the chestnut soaks up all the meat flavor. So I think that's the, uh, the main point about having these chestnut dishes. Yeah. Right, what should I try for next? I'll try some jaw. There is a chestnut. Right, so let's try this. No, I don't really like jaw. Tastes very, very plain. Yeah, it's not sweet at all. Not for me. Well, I've only got this one left. So the uh, the do I remember later? Li uh, Shu Mo. So that's the 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 mushrooms growing under the chestnut trees. I didn't actually see any of these growing under the chestnut trees. Well, I've been assured that they're there. Look at that, that's a lovely looking mushroom. Okay, what does it taste like? Will it taste like chestnut? It's got that nong jia tai kind of feeling. Really good for you, really healthy. I wonder if they're freshly picked, probably. Mm. I suppose I should share this with my uh, team. I will, I will. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm -mm. Well, I've had a lovely day here in the Chestnut Valley and um, the trail, that's a great example of how local authorities improve in rural beauty spots, making them more accessible to uh, tourists and to locals and also helping to develop the local rural 
tourism industry for places like these Minsul, these guest houses, and they can benefit from it. I'm really interested to know what this place looks like in the spring. It's going to be so, it's going to be cold in the winter, or probably a bit too cold for me. But in the spring, it'd be lovely. So I'm definitely going to come back, and it's a good excuse because I can, well, I can eat more, can't I?